What's up everybody, Brian here with a real quick uh, predictions video for tonight's uh, Survivor Series, uh, as well as some recaps of three events that happened yesterday. Uh, one for TNA Wrestling, which was Turning Point. Uh, one for that happened yesterday afternoon for Defy and Progress Wrestling. Uh, their event was called Onslaught. And then uh, one for Game Changer Wrestling, uh, it was called You Wouldn't Understand. So I'm going to go through a re um, brief recap of what went down at those three events really quickly. Um, yesterday afternoon at the at Defy and Progress Wrestling uh, Onslaught, uh, we saw Los Desperados. Uh, Arez and Gringo Loco pick up a win in tag team action against the main event, which was Midas Black and Jay Lyon. Uh, the Defy Women's World Championship was uh, defended as the current champion, Marina Shafir, uh, retained over Alley Catch. Uh, Homicide defeated Tate Mayfair's via countout. Um, for the Progress Proteus t uh, Championship, Simon Miller retained over Dark STG. Uh, for the Progress Women's World Championship, uh, Rio defeated Zeta Steel to retain her title. Uh, Man, Man Like Doris defeated Casey Navarro in a really good match that I that I could have gone either way. Uh, Mustafa Ali, former WWE superstar and TNA, uh, former WWE and TNA superstar, uh, he defeated uh, Cara Noir. And in the main event of that show, it was for the Progress World Championship, Luke Jacobs retaining over Kevin Knight. Uh, then... Uh, last night at TNA's Turning Point event, um, on the countdown to Turning Point, it was Rosemary winning a three-way match over Savannah Evans and Zaya Brookside. Uh, Mike Santana was victorious over Frankie Kazarian. In a Turkey Bowl match, which was a six-way match, where the loser of the match would have to wear a turkey costume... Uh, Joe Hendry won that one, pinning Brian Myers. So, Brian Myers had to wear the, the turkey suit, uh, which has been a tradition in TNA around Thanksgiving time. Uh, uh, also, hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving on Thursday. Uh, mine was, mine was tremendous. Uh... For the TNA X Division Championship, Moose retained over Laredo Kid. Uh, Steve Macklin won a no disqualification match against jo uh, Josh Alexander. Ace Austin and the TNA World Tag Team Champions, the Hardy Boys, defeated Kushida, Zachary Wentz, and their mystery partner, which turned out to be the original bro, Matt Riddle. Uh, in a two out of three falls ma uh, match for the TNA Knockouts title, it was Masha Slamovich retaining over Jordan Grace. And in the main event for the TNA World title, it was Nick Nemeth retaining over Eddie Edwards. In a match that saw uh, John Bradshaw Layfield, JBL, uh, come out to help Nick Nemeth uh, again, um, I'm hoping that this story, this thing they have with JBL or that's that's involving JBL uh, coming out at these different events um, I hope it has a uh, hope it, hopefully it has a a a a conclusion a a really good conclusion because you know it seems like he's popping up everywhere and it's like he's you know like last night he he helped out Nick Nemeth when uh, Brian Myers of the system tried to help out Eddie Edwards. So, you know, hopefully it has a uh, a good conclusion that everybody, you know, is not what... It, uh, hopefully it's something that maybe not, not a lot of people are expecting. So that was for TNA Turning Point. 
Then last night as well at GCW's You Wouldn't Understand, we saw Brandon Kirk defeat Bam Sullivan. Brooke Havoc defeated Zeta Steele. Uh, Tony Deppin, with the help of Griffin McCoy, defeated Man Like Darice. Uh, Griffin McCoy defeated Grim Reefer. Matt Tremont uh, defeated Lou Nixon. Uh, Ali Catch defeated Microman. Uh, the match between Megan Bain and Paro uh, ended in a no contest when Charles Mason, who many uh, who uh, many GCW shows ago was arrested by uh, um, by Paro and Richard Holiday, uh, he made his return. Uh, to GCW and went after Pero and then made it clear he wants hot Richard Holiday. Uh, Luke Jacobs, uh, who I mentioned earlier, is the Progress World Champion. He defeated the one called Manders. Uh, Los Desperados uh, won a, a trios match against Spectral, Spectral Envoy. And in the main event, Mance Warner retained his GCW World Championship against Homicide. So, that takes care of those three events. Now I'm going to really quickly go through my predictions for um, uh, Survivor Series tonight happening in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So here are here is the, here is the card as it stands right now. Uh, for the WWE United States Championship... L.A. Knight defends against Shinsuke Nakamura. Um, I'm going to go with L.A. Knight to retain. In a triple threat match for the Intercontinental Championship, Braun Breaker defends against Sheamus and Ludwig Kaiser. Um, I'm going with Breaker to retain. In the Women's War Games match, it's Rhea Ripley, Bianca Belair, Naomi, Io Sky, and Bailey taking on Liv Morgan, Raquel Rodriguez, Nia Jax, Tiffany Stratton, and Candice LeRae. Uh, I am going to say. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with Rhea, Naomi, Io Sky, Bailey, and Bianca Belair for the win. Uh, for the World Heavyweight Championship, Gu uh, Gun uh, Gunther defends against Damian Priest. I'm going with Gunther to retain. And in the Men's War Games match, it is the it is Roman Reigns, the Usos, Sami Zayn, and CM Punk taking on the New Bloodline: Solo Sokoa, Jacob Fatu, Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa, and their partner Bronson Reed. This one, I'm, I this one is kind of like I want to say the OG Bloodline and CM Punk. However, I'm I'm gonna go with the new Bloodline to to win this one. That's my official prediction. So those are my predictions for uh, tonight's uh, Survivor Series. Um, going LA Knight, Braun Breaker, Rhea Ripley, and and company. Gun uh, Gunther and the new bloodline. So those are my official predictions. So with that in mind, this has been my uh, recap and predictions video. Uh, as always, I am Brian, and I will see you next time. See ya.